All right, hey everybody, I'm Terrence from Suffocation, and I'm gonna take you through a little walkthrough of what I'm using on this tour right here with Soulfly and Abnormality and Battle Cross. And um, just give you a brief rundown of what I'm using. Right now, this is a BC Rich Warlock. Obviously, you guys have probably seen it before. Um, this was a custom made model for me from BC Rich a while ago. So, um, this actually is an import version. Uh, plays really well, I'm very comfortable on it. Of course, it's got a Floyd Rose on there. I'm mean, using the DiMarzio Super Distortion, Goto tuners, obviously some speed knobs. Also, these are coil tap switches, which in turn allows me to take one of these coils and split it in half. So when I split this one up, it's only one bar like a fender, you know. So you can get that nice pangy tone out of it if you want. And the same thing goes for the front, where you want to get those like kind of Ingve Malmsteen, very round, rounding sounded leads. If you really want to do that, you can split the coil. It's all about versatility with the guitar, which is uh, kind of a cool thing for me, even though I usually run it fully blown and uh, just on rip shred, you know what I mean? Originally, when I had started playing a lot, I was experimenting a lot with strings and things of that nature, and uh, I really didn't know what gauge I wanted to use, so I started off with a 9-gauge set, and I found that tuning you know, a whole step lower wasn't really the best thing for a 9-gauge set because the strings become really loose and floppy. So what I did was I took a 10 gauge 7 string set and only pulled one out of it. So now if you look at these three strings, this is a 10, a 13, a 17. But instead of this being like a 28 or a 30, this is a 26. So this stays pretty, pretty well thin for the solos and stuff. These two are heavier. So this one's a 46, this one's a 56 which on a seven string set is the lowest strings that you're probably gonna get. So it's a hybrid set of strings. We use Diodario strings, great company. You get a lot of life out of the strings. I mean, I've done like 16 shows on one set of strings. I wouldn't tell anybody out there to do that, but unfortunately I had to, and it actually made it. So I'm not gonna change my string company, but that's really what it is. So it's 10, 13, 17, 26, 46, 56. Awesome, tune to C sharp standard. <laughs> This is one of the kings of everything that uh, I swear by. This is the uh, Maxon OD9. Um, you can also get a Maxon 808. Almost the same circuitry. This um, pedal, I like it a lot because depending on what the room sounds like, what your amp sounds like, if you need a little bit more gain, you got this little boost. Almost like a tube screamer, but if this thing's got a lot more balls than that, which is great. Um, also in the side on these, if you can see, there's a tiny little switch in there, and that little switch changes it from 9 volt to 18 volt, which is a very, very cool thing to have, um, depending on what kind of pickups you use. If you want to really get a lot of drive and compression on your tone, it really fills in the void a lot from getting a clunky sound to more metallic kind of sound. Uh, it's very touchy. I really don't, because I use the gain on my PVs um, pretty much fully all the way up, I don't have to gain mine so much. So I use this setting, pretty much what you see right there. For anybody who's a Maxon junkie, check it out. Love the company, always support them. Uh, other than that, I use this little guy, which is always a trusty little thing that most of you guys already know about, which is your NS2 noise suppressing pedal. These are all the pedals that I'm using on this tour, and particularly, um, I think it's just a very basic, simple throw and go setup. It's kind of easy for me to um, set everything up. It's just a couple of cables. I'm using Godlike Productions power supplies for these, which is also in coercion with Maxon pedals, which is great. But these boss noise suppressors are awesome. Tell anybody who's got a feedback problem, get one of these, or pick up a decimator. This is the bad boy right here that I've been using. Um, obviously, the last time that you guys might have seen us play, we were using Vader Cabinets. Great company, always love them. Um, I have my Vaders at home. This uh, was sent to us by PV as backline for this tour. Obviously, it's a PV6505 Plus. Great amplifier, tons of tubes in it. Um, I basically only use the preamp channel over here, the distorted side. Um, you know, I usually have my mids a little bit sunken, but not so sunken that it sounds like garbage, you know. Um, I always have my bright, my crunch cranked in there. As I said before, the Maxon and the noise suppressor goes in line with the series for this amp. Um, I think it's a great amplifier, and I would suggest to anybody who's looking for a 
a serious guitar head who's looking to go professionally. Always looking to PV. PV's a great company. Always built great products from all their heads, from the 5150, 5150 Mark II, 6505, 6534, um, Triple X, Triple X2 head, JSX heads. All of them are great. Um, you know, obviously, we like to stick with the tubes. The tubes are where you get your punch at, and if uh, technology has taught me anything, it's that tubes just produce a great sound. PV's got that nice tonality I like a lot. These are just your basic standard 300 watt PV cabinets. Um, for the most part, I only use a bottom one for myself because I don't like the shear coming into my head. And uh, that's really that's really it for this. We're real stoked with the PV stuff, and I've always been kind of like a boutique player, thinking I need, you know, Simi Valley SWR stuff or David Eden stuff, which is fantastic stuff. Ampeg stuff is great too. Of course, well, Ampeg's the go-to. They always give you that all over the world. But uh, these guys have been loving the PV stuff, and PV decided to get behind me with the, uh, the Mega Mini series, and this thing is fucking insane. Excuse my language. This thing's a thousand watts constant power, and uh, it just really bangs. There's like a lot of little tricks and stuff like the perceived bass, the Cosmos, it's unbelievable. Uh, 2,000 watt peak, but a thousand watt RMS constant power, and then uh, their, their 10 inch cabinets, the 410s, just this rig this just bangs. Lumps, yeah. It really bangs. So I don't leave home without my tuner. You know, obviously, I want to make sure that we're good. I got a, I got a max on tube compressor limiter in line, and then of course, I won't play without my Sansamp Tech 21 New York, best best product. I know there's a lot of other companies that are trying to make these DI boxes, but uh, this is the, the go-to for me. So this is my flight case, and this is the uh, the Devil's Choice, and this is a custom trap jaw made just for me. Um, this thing's got the neodymium magnets. Um, all my tuning is done up here and uh, you know everything you just lock in and snip up here down there rather this guy put this thing together fantastic this guy got like six different woods it's even got graphite uh, for strength so I mean this guy did like a fantastic job I got the fan frets so you know you get a longer scale on your low end strings and uh, yeah this thing just plays great sounds great and you guys will hear it tonight yeah, so we got the fan frets uh, on here, so nothing's 90 degrees. I guess this guy's probably close to 90 degrees. But uh, what we're doing here is we're getting a longer scale on the lower strings. So you get the tonality of a longer neck. You know, if, if this thing was square, you know, in a 34 or something like that, by, by fanning this out and getting a little extra from the nut to the saddle, you know, we're getting a little bit longer of a scale. So the tonality gets, a, I'm not sure if it gets deeper or bigger, but uh, it definitely does something because that's what, you know, they, they put it together to do that. But, uh, and it's interesting at first to learn how to play it, but I do play, you know, very upright. So it's not too bad for me, where if I play it like this, it may be a problem with the fan frets. So any guys that are playing like with a vertical, the fan frets definitely come into play and uh, they're ergonomically comfortable and space just bangs. Yeah, there's a guy uh, over in Germany and I believe he's calling it bass culture. And uh, it's got the neodymium magnets and uh, custom hand wound. And then they went with the Wenge, the guy that made the base, uh, put the Wenge caps rather than plastic, uh, just to tie in because there's a lot of Wenge throughout the, throughout the instrument. You know, whether it's the neck or the body is actually Wenge with poplar, with poplar top and back on it. So that's pretty sick. Thing bangs. All right, so I play the, uh, the Diodario Pro Steel. And uh, in my opinion, they're the best string on the planet. You know, I've played a lot of different strings over the years. And uh, Diodario is just a, a great company. They also have the Planet Waves cables, which I use exclusively. And uh, something about the Diodario Pro Steel string, you know, and I use a slightly lighter gauge than a lot of people. You know, people think the heavier the string, the heavier your sound. But uh, in my opinion, you know, if you got a really heavy string, you got to fucking, you got to mash on it to make it sound like you're hitting it hard. Where if you play a 100 instead of an 80, uh, instead of a 105, you get that, that uh, you know, sounds like you're clobbering it when, and you actually get to reserve a little bit of your energy because you know we're going really fast the whole set and uh yeah the, the lighter gauge and the steel and of course diodario it's a winning combo diodario rules Best. awesome so right here i'm running the esp e2 m2 it's neck through really nice you know it's like that see-through black just got it not you know a couple months ago. 
it's my first guitar actually with a Floyd Rose, so you know I'm getting used to that. But you know it's really comfortable. The neck, you know, it's not as thin as something as like an Ibanez or something, but I kind of like that. You know, I like that chunkier neck. It's definitely better. All uh, right, now these are the EMG 8185s, and then uh, strings. I'm using the uh, the Diodario Pro Steels, same ones you know Hobbs is using. Me and him use basically the same gauge. I only use one one string is different. I use a 30 instead of a 26. He, I use 56, 46, 30, 17, 13, 10. And then Hobbs he uses a 26 there. So I like it a little thicker, a little chunkier. Come over here, I got the pedal board. My homemade pedal board. Basically how I have it set up is this right here is through the front of the amp and then I run this through the back of the amp. So I'm running a Line 6 G50 wireless into the cord tuner, into a Maxon OD808X. I just got this. I haven't really had that much time to mess with it yet, but this is a really good pedal for going on the road and using stuff like if we don't have our 6505s or other PVs and stuff that don't have enough gain or enough distortion, it's good to like boost it up, give you a juicy walk, you know? So then that's going into the decimator. And that's going right into the head, into the 6505 Plus, into the PV cabs. And then actually I have through the back, through the effects loop, I have another decimator. So this one kind of gets rid of like the like, the like in between like the stops, like the ooh, ooh, like that. And then like this one gets rid of your tube buzz, like all your like, sss, like all your sizzle from your tubes. So it makes it really tight, really, really quiet, you know. And then I got the Maxon 8010. Delay, use that for some of the solo parts, not too often, but it's definitely a good pedal. Well, everybody, we're concluding this whole thing about our gear. Um, us, Suffocation, Charlie and Derek, we'd all like to thank a bunch of people. We'd like to thank Deodario Strings. We'd like to Marcus thank Intu Intune Picks. We'd like to thank Maxon Pedals. We would like to thank PV. We'd like to thank Chris Canella and Tony Rouser at ESP for <laughs> take rule. We'd like to thank PC Rich. We'd like to thank all of our endorsers everywhere. We'd like to thank EMG for taking us out and getting us out on the road. The Devil's Choice, Planet Waves Cables, Tech 21, Sans Amp products specifically, Maxon of course, and uh, Diodario as we said, PV. And most of all, we'd like to thank you guys for paying attention to us. Come out to a Suffolk show, support the scene. We love you guys. Slam.